So the challenges are, for whatever reason, African men do not go to have their PSA checked. Only one in 10 men above the age of 50 who are eligible to have PSA checking annually do not get their PSA checked. We at AKU have a big promotion when it comes to the Prostate Cancer Month, where we give very subsidized PSA testing. Even then, we do not see participation. So PSA testing, very important in the African context. In the North American context, we say PSA testing may not be that important because we pick up very low levels, we do a lot of testing, we waste a lot of money, and patients die of other diseases. So we should not worry about a PSA in the countries where the prevalence is low, detection is very high at a very early stage. In Africa, we pick it up at a late stage. For whatever reason, African men have a high predilection for prostate cancer, is more aggressive, it comes at a younger age. So 50 and above, annual PSA. If you have a family history of prostate cancer, you start at 40. If the PSA is elevated, we should get an ultrasound to see what the walnut, the prostate looks like, and where is this abnormality, and then we do a biopsy. Once we do the biopsy, the question is, if this is cancer, has it spread or not? So we at AKU are the only ones in Sub-Saharan Africa that has a unique PET scan that picks up prostate cancer. It's called PSMA PET scan. So we would do that. If it has spread, then the treatment is chemotherapy, anti-hormone therapy. If it has not spread, treatment options include surgery or radiation therapy. And that's for a multidisciplinary team. And we at AKU have a multidisciplinary team for prostate cancer where we have the urologist, the radiation therapist and the oncologist together with the counselor meet with everybody with prostate cancer to help them through this journey and make a decision.